Six, developing friendly foreign contracts and creating a favorable external environment. The Standing Committee formulated guidelines on strengthening and standardizing the National Committee's foreign contacts on the basis of the CPC Central Committee's overall arrangements for China's diplomatic work. We developed pragmatic high-level contacts and increased dialogue and exchanges with organizations, major think tanks, mainstream mass media, and the influential figures in foreign countries. Extensively publicized China's achievements in reform and development. Its system of multi-party co cooperation and political consultation under the leadership of CPC and its independent foreign policy of peace. We invited more people to visit China and thus got more foreign people to understand and become friendly to China. We held meetings on the international situation to discuss how to establish a new type of relations with other major countries and create a stable neighboring environment carried out investigations and studies on major external issues and made suggestions on how to safeguard the important period of strategic opportunity for China's development. We made full use of the strengths of the CPPCC to explain our country's policies and stand on issues pertaining to Tibet and Xinjiang to safeguard our country's core interests and sovereignty. The China Economic and Social Council expanded contacts with relevant international organizations and held the 12th and 13th sessions of the Sino-EU Roundtable in conjunction with the European Economic and Social Committee. The China Committee on Religion and Peace attended the 9th World Assembly of the World Conference on Religion and Peace participated in activities of the Asia Conference on Religion and Peace and strengthened friendly exchanges with international and regional religious and peace organizations.